Hey again, this is Kevin with Custom Micro, and today is part three of our configuration guide of the FS S3410-48TS-P. We'll be covering Access Control List, otherwise known as ACLs. Let's do it. So the next thing we want to go ahead and set up, which is a little more complicated, but we're going to set up at least one ACL. We'll choose ACL. Notice there's no ACLs at this time. We'll choose Add ACL. We're going to choose an Extended ACL. We can we ha and notice it says here, but um, if you want con um, to configure a number, please make sure it is in the range of 100 through 199 or 2000 through 2699. So we're going to choose 100 and click OK. So now that we've created our first ACL list, we'll click add access rule. The first rule we're going to create is a permit rule. This ACL is going to be for our guest network. We want our guest users, if they're on wireless or wired connections, to be able to get to the internet, but we certainly don't want them to be able to get to our corporate network, the other VLANs, 10, 20, 30, 40. So the first thing we're going to do is tell it what it is allowed to get to. So we're going to do a permit rule. We're going to do the protocol as IP. We're going to say the source is a mask configuration. The IP will be 10.127.50.0. And the mask will match our subnet mask we said earlier, 255.255.254.0. The destination will be a single IP address. And that IP address will be 172.16.127.1. This will allow our guest network to take that default route to get to our firewall slash router to be able to get to the internet. So it's very important that we had this permit rule or guest users would not be able to even get on the internet once we create some of our deny rules. So we'll click OK. I'm going to go ahead and create another access rule just to kind of explain a need that may arise. We'll say access rule, the source, mass configuration, again the same IP range, 10.127.50.0, the same subnet mask. In this case, we're also going to choose single IP address. So let's say you have a wireless controller. Maybe you have a Unify controller for your access points. And maybe you want to have a guest portal so when your guest users try to get on your guest network, they're redirected to a portal. But let's say that portal is on your Unify controller, which is on your corporate network. So you may need to open that up um, to allow that traffic. So maybe that device lives at 10.127.1.5. Let's say that's your Unify controller. So you can allow the guest network to get to that one IP address on your corporate network. And we'll say OK. Now that we've created our two permit rules, let's create our deny rules. We're going to click Add Access Rule. We're going to choose Deny. We're going to choose a mass configuration, our same guest network IP range. For our destination, we're going to now choose a mass configuration, and we're going to do 10.127.0.0 with a subnet mask of 255.255.0.0. In CIDR notation, that would be a slash 16. This will prevent the guest network from getting to any IP addresses that start with 10.127. This is very helpful. It will prevent people on the guest network to getting to your other VLANs on your corporate network. So we'll click OK. We need to create one more deny rule. We'll click Add Access Rule. We'll choose our mask configuration for the source. Don't forget to click Deny. This is a deny rule. We're going to choose our same subnet mask as before for the same IP range. We'll choose 172.16. .127.2. You may recall this is the IP address for that transit VLAN. This is the IP address of the Layer 2 Plus switch that we're configuring right now. We do need to let 
this guest network get to the next hop, which is 172.16.127.1. That's that default route. But we do not want this guest VLAN to be able to get to this network switch and be able to log into its web interface or SSH into it. So we need to deny a rule for that as well. So we'll say, okay. This should cover all of our bases. If we'll just kind of glance over it again, the first rule is going to allow this subnet, the guest network, to make it to our firewall slash router so we can get out to the internet. The second permit, permit rule is going to allow the guest network to get to our Unify controller for the purpose of being able to basically um, get to a guest portal, a, for example, a web portal for um, authentication. And then we have our two deny rules. We're going to deny access from the guest network to any of our other VLANs that we created earlier, our routed layer three VLANs. And we're also going to deny access to that transit VLAN. So there's no possibility for a guest user to log in to this switch. You can edit these at a later time. You can also change the order of these rules because order in an ACL matters tremendously. Um, let's take this one that's our rule for our Unify controller and let's click edit. So we could simply at any time um, edit that rule. And also um, you notice there's a time manager, which is really interesting. So you can actually have ACLs that are only in, in effect during a certain time range, which is really nice. But we're gonna click cancel for now. Future Kevin here. I interrupt this walkthrough with an important message. I made a mistake when I was creating the ACL. We have one rule that's missing and it's very important. So if we walk through this, we have our two permit rules, which allow our guest network to get to things it needs to get to, like our firewall, our Unify controller in this example. We have our deny rules that prevent the guest network from getting from other segments of our corporate network. But then we forgot the all important any rule. We need to have one final rule on the list for this ACL that says, if the traffic doesn't match any of these first four rules, to allow that traffic. I'll show you how to create that right now. Click Add Access Rule. We could obviously go in and choose Mass Configuration and put in the IP range. And in that case, we would put in 0.0.0.0 with a mask of 255.255.255, basically a reverse mask. And then, or the simple way to do it is just choose any source IP to any destination IP. Make sure it is a permit rule and that's selected and then click OK. It put it right there at the end of the list so it's in the right order. If it was not in the right order, you could always click move and you can move that particular part of the, that particular rule in the ACL where it needs to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can catch all the other parts of our configuration guide for this FS S3410-48TS-P network switch. Bye.